The ability to successfully use climbing vines in a garden is one of the most challenging gardening talents to acquire. In both novice and seasoned gardens, the placement of perennial vines is a crucial decision that can be fraught with anxiety. Perennial vines last for many seasons and continue to expand and fill out as they age in the garden. Have a look at these top 10 perennial flowering vines and climbers. Number one, climbing hydrangea. A wall, fence, or large tree can support the weight of a climbing hydrangea as it reaches heights of 60 to 80 feet. Climbing hydrangea grows slowly enough that it is not difficult to keep it under control, unlike other plants with aerial roots. This plant thrives in partial shade and requires consistently moist soil if grown in full sun. The flowers are similar to those of shrub hydrangeas, and the plant's dried flower heads and peeling bark make for nice decoration throughout the colder months. Hardy from zones five through nine. Number two, hardy kiwi vine. Hardy kiwi vine, a close descendant of the plant that yields kiwis for grocery stores, is cultivated for its unique leaves despite its inability to withstand frost. Hardy kiwi vine refers to two distinct species, both of which are native to New Zealand. Actinidia calamicta has variegated leaf, while Actinidia arguta grows more slowly. Kiwi vine's tiny blossoms have a sweet scent reminiscent of lily of the valley. The plant's twiny habit need a strong framework in order to reach towards the sky. Zones three through nine are ideal for this plant. Number three, purple passion flower. The purple passion flower, often known as maypop, because to its bright purple flowers, is a semi-woody vine that has enormous serrated leaves. It uses tendrils to attach itself to surfaces. Flowers on these vines are highly sought after because to their exotic appearance, and numerous varieties are available in a wide range of colors. The vines reach lengths of 15 to 20 feet, making them suitable for overwintering inside in milder climes if kept in containers. They do best in hardiness zones five through nine. Number four, trumpet vine. Native to the southeastern United States, trumpet vine is a popular nectar source for pollinators like hummingbirds and butterflies in the summer months. Yet it is easily capable of becoming an invasive, aggressive grower. The plant uses aerial rootlets to ascend. In order to hold the weight of a trumpet vine, which may reach 40 feet in length, you'll need a sturdy structure. They need regular pruning to keep producing healthy blooms and to prevent them from taking over. The hardiness zones in which trumpet vine thrives are four through nine. Number five, climbing roses. Climbing roses are simply huge rose plants that have been taught to climb a trellis or other support structure using their long canes. If you have a solid foundation in place, training is a breeze. As the canes grow, you can gently bend them and secure them to the structure with cloth strips. Do not prune the plant until the canes have formed. Hardiness zones for climbing roses range from five to 10, with certain varieties requiring even more protection. Number six, star jasmine. Twining flowering vine that from late spring through early summer bears fragrant white flowers called star jasmine. The vine's large oval, dark green leaves are perfect for covering the ground, but it may also be trained to climb trellises and other structures. Even though it may be cultivated as an annual and brought indoors for the winter in colder locations, some gardeners still prefer to treat the plant as if it were a one-year wonder. Jasmine star may be grown in zones eight to 10. Number seven, Mandevilla. Mandevilla is the common name for a group of flowering vines native to the tropics and subtropics. 
they are known for the huge fragrant flowers that have five petals and the lustrous green leaves. Extreme humidity is essential for the health of these rapidly expanding vines, as is a solid framework for them to wrap around. They thrive in containers and hanging planters too. It grows well in a zone between 10 and 11. Number eight, Bougainvillea. Bougainvilleas are clusters of flowers found on the woody vines of the tropical genus Bougainvillea. The vines have a maximum potential length of 40 feet, but can be pruned to remain shrub-like or trained to wind themselves around trellises. Care must be taken when handling these vines because of the thorns they carry. They need to be brought inside for the winter if you live in a cooler climate. From hardiness zones 9 to 11, Bougainvilleas thrive. Number 9. Moonflower. The flowers of the perennial flowering vine known as the moonflower open out at night, filling the air with their intoxicating scent. Then, as dawn breaks, the blossoms once again close up for the day. These vigorous climbers can quickly cover a large area as a ground cover or cover a support structure by the time they reach 10 to 15 feet in length. Plants in zones 10 to 12 can survive with minimal protection. Number 10, Snail Vine. The flowers of snail vine, a perennial vine, only open in warm, frost-free areas. Its tiny flowers are sometimes compared to the coiled shell of a snail. At 15 to 20 feet in length, these vines can cover a lot of ground. Vines can be kept healthy and vigorous with regular gentle trimming to remove any dead or scraggly branches. Zones 9 through 11 are ideal for the growth of snail vine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.